Hi guys, it's Grant with Local Scraper, and today I'm going to be walking you through our Home Advisor Scraper. Um, our Home Advisor Scraper was uh, built by a customer request. Um, it will only work at Home Advisor, um, and I guess we'll just get started. Um, once you have the program open, uh, this is what it will look like here. Um, if you are familiar with Home Advisor, um, the way that we're getting the business listings is to go to homeadvisor.com slash C and that brings up the contractors they have and if you see here we have the categories and right here is the zip code and then you can browse reviews so we'll go to like most popular we'll go with 33068 which is, is about near Miami Florida Okay, so we've hit the thing and we have our results. We have 403, um, and uh, they're all they're all mixed in there. So um, what you could do is that here is that same option. See the most popular air conditioning, decks, painting, services. Um, I can go to this most popular, and then if I put in the 33068, it will give me the same listings that were on uh, that we found over here. Um, now, if you wanted to do it yourself, that is what the custom URL is. And what I mean by that is that you would um, go into your browser and you would go into here and you would do your search and then you would bring up, I don't know, whatever. Or if you want it outside of the program, like, um, let's go to like uh, additions, browse them, and then maybe if you wanted to change this to like most reviewed, now what you would do is you would take this URL up here on the top and you would paste this into the program there and then if you ran the program um, it would start at the URL that you chose which are these results um, so we'll get rid of that again um, another option is to put your URL into the browser below the screen down here uh, this will take you to the same place um, we can go here we can set our uh, filters and we'll search by like uh, most reviewed again we'll hit go they've now hopefully been reorganized by that and now what we want to do is hit manual mode and then the run button and this program will now start scraping um, from this page so if you want to see the results before um, you scrape them you'll want to use this method and the uh, manual mode option uh, the keyword one is kind of a blind one. Um, you're just going to grab whatever was already there without any um, filtering added. So you do air conditioning and then your zip code, and then it'll just grab um, whatever is already there. Okay, we'll just leave that checked for now. Okay, um, the proxy options are for if you're planning on using proxies. Um, if you're doing a lot of scraping, I would highly recommend using them. Uh, I, rem I um, recommend several different companies on the README page um, below this video, or um, you can access the README page through the link included with your software. Um, to use them, uh, there is another video that explains how to use the proxies, but real quick you would want to hit use proxies and you would want to upload a proxy file which should look something like this with them being an IP and port fashion. Um, you would then take that and insert it here where it says choose file. If you have paid proxies, you will not need to text, uh, test them. Um, the test proxies option is really only for users that have free proxies um, that don't know if they really work or not. Um, over here, like my other programs, max listings is the max number of results you want. Um, since we're going to be doing a scrape, uh, we'll set this at like 15 for the sake of time. 
um, you would set this at whatever you want, um, 100, uh, 200, uh, 5, um, whatever suits your needs. The wait time I will leave alone for right now, but this is a wait time by default of 2 to 3 seconds um, randomly. Uh, you would want to set this wait time higher if your proxies are slower, um, if your internet is slower, um, perhaps if you don't, if you're worried about getting caught by Home Advisor, if you set the wait time longer, it'll replicate um, a human because the, the program will wait like the time. So if you set it to five, it will go to, say, this page, and then it will wait five seconds before moving on to the next page, which seems more um, normal because it looks like you're actually reading uh, the page in that five seconds, and then continuing on to another page because it's not what you were looking for. Um, this is, uh, is really something you need to play with. Um, see if setting it higher suits your needs better. If you're using proxies and you're finding out that they're getting blocked too fast, you might want to set it higher. Um, like I said, if your internet is a little slow, you might want to change it then. But usually you can probably just leave this as is. The threads is the number of threads we want to use in the program. Um, you see we have 1 to 15 here. Uh, the threads is how many uh, little robots you want to go out and gather data for you. So for example, if I have these 15 listings and I have one thread, then one little bot will go out and scrape the page, take up that 2 to 3 seconds, and then move on to the next page two to three seconds, the next page, two to three seconds. But if I was to change this threads to two, I now have two little bots that go out, scrape the page, wait two to three seconds, come back, scrape the page, two to three seconds. So I'm actually moving twice as fast, but I'm opening up twice as many connections to the websites. So by increasing the threads, you're also increasing your chance of getting caught. Um, personally, if I'm not using any proxies or uh, VPN or other uh, anonymous service, I stay between 1 and 3. Uh, if you are using proxies, uh, you can use as many threads as you want. Uh, I usually recommend having twice as many proxies as you use threads, but that's not needed. It's more of just a guideline. So I will set this to 2 for now and then we should run our scrape. Uh, we have our listings here, we have 15, and we are manual mode, and we will just run this. Now what the program doing is doing now is it's going through the pages, it's gone through that first page and it grabbed 25 results, which is over our limit. Once it got to the second page, it tested for the limit, but then grabbed the second page. Um, what this means is that the max listings is not always an exact science because we check after each page um, past the first one. But setting it um, lower is better than if it had gone through all um, thousand results. Okay, it looks like we're starting to get data here because we're using uh, two threads. It's moving and we're getting two at a time here. Uh, as you'll see, we have the name, address, city, state, zip, rating, reviews. We have the full description, including the HTML within the description. So we're keeping that formatting. Uh, we have the link to the photo of the business, uh, a license number, if it has a license number. Um, we have several of the most popular services on whether or not the business does it. Air conditioning, remodeling, repair, heating, you know, you'll see all these in here. We have the text from the reviews. There's review one, the date of review one, review two, the date of review two, review three, and so on. We grab the first five reviews uh, for the business. And then down at the end here, uh, sometimes it'll find it or not. We have Google Web, Google Phone, and the uh, Home Advisor URL. And what these are doing is that they're taking the name of the business um, and searching for it in Google and trying to find a website and a contact phone number. Uh, we're doing this because the contact phone number here um, given for the business is actually owned by HomeAdvisor. So when you call this phone number it's actually connecting you to HomeAdvisor who will then take your business details and then 
uh, sell that lead to this business. So the phone numbers from HomeAdvisor are kind of useless, so it takes an extra step to go and find them through Google. Okay, we're doing pretty well here, we're moving along. Um, as you can see, the records found is 50. That's how many we found. It was 25 per page. The program visited two page. Um, we're currently at 24 of that, so we're about halfway through. I'm not using a proxy, so that's not there. And the threads are as follows because of um, that's the max we set, and that's how many we're currently using. Now, I can stop this here because we don't need all 50. We really only wanted the 15 to begin with. And now if we go to the folder where the program was located, we now have a HomeAdvisor-Manual URL. Um, that is the name of the file if you're using a manual URL. Um, if you're using the other things, it'll have the zip code and the, um, the number for the category. But after your scrape, you'll always want to um, rename these to something more reasonable so they're not overwritten by the program and so you know what they actually were. So what we're going to do is we're just going to double click this. And here we are in Excel and it has all of our data. We have our name, our address, the city, the state, the zip, the phone numbers, um, the descriptions, and all of the details that we wanted. Um, this information is in a CSV. It's very easy to open in Excel. Um, it's very easy to import into anything you want and very easy to edit, thankfully. Okay, and I think that about covers it um, for uh, here. Oh, actually, the zip list and custom URLs. Uh, how can I forget? Um, these are the list features. Um, there are discussed more on the README page. But essentially what you're doing is you're picking a keyword like air conditioning. But if I wanted to run this search on two different zip codes um, or ten different zip codes, I don't want to manually do it and run and then do it again and then run. So what you would actually do is you'd make a list of them uh, line by line and then and place them here. So you would have like one zip code, another zip code, another zip code, another zip code. You you have to stick with one keyword, unfortunately. Um, that is a limitation right now with the program. But it will run the search for that zip code and that keyword um, over and over and over again. Uh, so it'll match air conditioning with the first zip code, air conditioning with the second zip code, air conditioning third. So it lead uh, gives you some uh, automation to the program. The same thing goes for the custom URLs. As you saw, we made one over here. Um, if I wanted to have multiple customer URLs for different cities, so I was like um, Florida, but Pompano Beach, but Florida and Miami Beach, Florida, I don't know, Northern Florida, something, I would have a different URL like this. And what I would want is I would want to put them into a text file, uh, line by line, uh, just like before. Let me find something that I can edit. Something sort of like this. And then you would add another one, and another one, and another one. And then you would save this as a text file, and then upload it here. And the program will know what you're doing, and it will go through those lists um, one by one. Um, if you are using the list features like zip list or the custom URL list, um, the max listings that you set down here is a global setting, which means it will run for each list item. So for the first zip code, for the first custom URL, it will be the max listings will be the same, so like 30. But it will continue this all throughout the list. So you cannot run the first uh, search with 10, the second search with 30, the third search with 50. It doesn't really work that way. These settings down here are global and will affect um, every search that you do. They're covered a bit more on the README page, so feel free to read over that stuff. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, make sure to contact me, and uh, I'll try my best to clear things up. And I believe that's it. Okay, thank you very much, and uh, enjoy.